October 25th and we have gone home over fall break and got all our belongings from Oklahoma and we were able to um, have a great surprise party for my father-in-law so there was a lot of family in town while we were there so we got to see a lot of people that we haven't seen in several years um, so then we got everything all packed up and came uh, back Sunday and started our journey made it to winter South Dakota and then uh, back into Powers Lake um, on Monday about four o'clock. Got a lot of it unloaded that day, but we got tired and quit about seven and went home and ate and went to bed. Um, so I was out here all day yesterday trying to get things unloaded and today Dylan's with me and we are trying to get things situated because it's pretty much just a mess. As you can see, there's like stuff everywhere. And North Dakota is gonna break us in because it, is snowing so we probably won't see the ground again until april so that's fun so they're going to break in the okies with the wonderful weather so hopefully when i uh, do the next video we'll have the house somewhat put together and i'll give you a tour today is november 6th and i am sitting in line at the velva elevator uh, dylan and i are both hauling in the canola for ourselves um, we brought it into velva because this is actually the crushing plant of taking it to a local elevator um, so it's quite a bit busier so we are in line and there's like 20 some trucks ahead of us so we'll be here a while but um, we'll probably only get one load in today and then go back and load trucks to do it in another day uh, since it just takes so long sitting here in line um, Riggin has gotten to play some basketball over the weekend uh, he was in a three-on-three -three tournament um, that's not through the school but just uh, something that we were able to find and so him and his buddies did that they played four games and then won all those got into the championship game and won that one so they played five games in one day and um, they did a really good job so that was really fun um, over fall break we were able to go ahead and go home and get all of our house possessions um, so that was nice. Uh, we had a surprise birthday party for my father-in-law and that went off like really well. Um, we had lots of family in. Family from um, us coming in from North Dakota. Had some fly in from North Carolina, Florida, um, uh, Montana. Uh, we had some that drove from Kansas and um, of course some of the Oklahoma family as well. So there were a lot of people that we hadn't seen in several years that we got to visit with over the weekend. My parents went ahead and came up and helped us move out of the house as well. Uh, so I got to see them too. So uh, we were really happy that that uh, took place. Kitty had been planning that since last Thanksgiving last year. So it was a lot of work that she did to get that. And it was nice that Levi was surprised. So that was really fun that we got to do that and see everyone while we were home. Um, we are all moved in and situated in the house. Uh, so we are glad to be out of the camper. We went and got the camper the other day, which something that should have taken 30 minutes ended up taking forever. Um, we got there and every single thing in the camper was working except for the slides, which is the only thing we needed at that point. Um, Dylan had to do, use the test light and stuff on them and they just weren't getting enough juice to pull those in. So he ended up somehow hot wiring them. I don't know what he did, but we got the slides in and uh, got that moved out of the RV park. So I quit paying that rent and it's parked out at the rent house. Um, so one less thing off the to-do list. And uh, so we've got it parked there and um, Brigham had a good time trick-or-treating. Um, he's had a friend stay over and spend the night with us at the house. So that was fun that he got to do that. Um, now we just kind of are, we've already gotten one big snow. So the, the crops that we did have uh, still left to cut. I'm not really sure what the farmer is going to do on that because um, he still had Durham and canola, which Durham obviously does not do well with the wet weather, so I'm not really sure what his plans are. Um, but we do have all of our equipment put in a um, like a cold storage building here in North Dakota, so um, if they decide we need to get it back out to go help, we'll have to do that, but we're just kind of waiting to see what the farmer decides and we'll go from there to see whether we're for sure done with Harvest 2023. So hope you guys are all doing well and um, we'll talk to you next time.
windy wind, safe and sound. Today is November 11th and it is Veterans Day and I just want to say thank you to all the men and women who have served and are serving. Um, we wouldn't be in the great nation that we are if it wasn't for you and the sacrifices that you and your family made. So thank you very much for all of those that have um, been in our armed forces. Um, as you can see, we are out in the field. Uh, we just pulled everything back out of the storage. So um, we had a farmer that was not quite ready yet um, over fall break when we had went home for Oklahoma to get our stuff. It went, uh, it was going to be needing a freeze, but unfortunately when it got the freeze, it got the snow. So um, we have not been able to cut yet. So we've got um, some good weather here this week. The snow has finally melted. So we are going to go and try and cut the snow field for him. Um, no one's not sure that it'll go today, but we at least going to get moved and then hopefully have that sunshine today and then we can uh, get it finished tomorrow. There's just a little under a 200 acres. So it would be nice if it would go today and then we can finish up tomorrow while we have the kids. Otherwise, it'll just be Dylan and I again trying to do that through the week while they're at school. So that's kind of uh, what we're going to try to do over the weekend. I believe today is the 13th. Don't quote me. Uh, so we are officially done with 2023. We're just getting everything cleaned off. And uh, these two machines are going to go to the dealer for um, a winter check. And just kind of gone through them. Because we rely pretty heavily on these two machines. Um, just because they're smaller and easier to haul. So we want to make sure they're in good condition. Uh, the tractor and grain cart will go home and I'm going to take the trucks in and dump them and deliver our last stuff for the season. And it was a beyond amazing season for us. Um, we were on the road for six months, which we've never done in all of our years because usually uh, we cut super late at home. So we never make it out, but we were able to this year and it has just been a blast. So um, we'll kind of keep you guys updated as we shuffle stuff and move home. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap for our season. Today is November 14th and we are out at the field cutting some Durham. Uh, we finished up with the canola a couple days ago and started on some Durham fields for the same farmer. Um, we weren't sure if we were going to cut it for the quality, but um, it's actually doing pretty good. Um, it's been rained on quite a bit, it snowed on once, so we weren't even sure we were going to get to cut it, but um, he wants us to go ahead and get it out of the field, so we should be finished up here. Um, we're probably on our last 80 acres and possibly Harvest 2023 will be coming to an end today. Hi guys, it is Carly Newmiller with Newmiller Harvesting. It is November 15th and I am in a field in Bowdoin, North Dakota, combining corn. Um, Yes, and I have a beautiful voice right now due to a cold, so lots of fun during harvest here. Um, haven't been in the field much this year at all, but due to snow pushing our harvest back later, we've had some employees that have left, and so now we're getting shorthanded around here. So myself and Kimberly are both in the field today. Um, Yesterday, my son Kyler had a basketball game, and to go to town, we got to drive semis to town so we could go dump them after the game. Um, so, got to do some trucking yesterday, and now today I was in the cart all morning because Kim teaches preschool, so she was in town doing that this morning. Now, she got out here around noon, so I jumped in the combine, she jumped in the cart, and her husband Michael took off in the semis. Um, my husband Cole was up in West Hope. <clears throat> they did bring a couple combines home from West Hope because they 
the dryer up in West Hope was not keeping up with four combines, so we brought a couple of them home and the cart. So he is actually over in Finley right now with two combines combining on beans. We got going on them again yesterday or Monday. And so that's where he is at. Um, we do have a couple combines still in Lemon, South Dakota. Uh, that would be my father-in-law Roger and Renee are down there. And Logan just headed back up to West Hope to combine with the other two combines just a little this morning he left. So he should be going up there. So that is what we are up to. How um, many way? I'm actually waiting on trucks. All of our elevators are getting full, so we'll see what happens here. November 15th, and we've been hauling Durham out of these bags all day. So this is a little contraption that takes it out. November 18th. Uh, I gave you an update on the 15th. The 16th, I ran cart all day. Um, we finished up their uncle's field, tried their dad's field, but it was really muddy. So I ended up only doing one truckload off of that. And then we shut down and ran to Steel, North Dakota for my son's last basketball game. And they even won. So it was a good ending for our season. And then we, the next day, we did get combining on our own corn. And I ran combine most of the day yesterday. At the end of the day, Cole took over it. I was right, driving trucks back to the shop yard to leave them there for the night because the elevators have been closing early due to them not keeping up with their dryers. So we got all that field done. Now we're back on Rogers Field today. Um, my nephew Bentley is in the cart. Uh, my brother-in-law Michael is in the combine. Myself and Cole are trucking to the bin site. And our hired hand Alec is trucking to town. So that is what we are up to today. Trying to get some into town before everybody fills up. Sounds like all the elevators in the area will be full of wet corn by Thanksgiving. And they're going to shut down from Thanksgiving all the way through Sunday. And also possibly tomorrow too. So just a lot of bushels of corn coming in and the elevators and it's all wet and elevators are keeping up with the dryers and also with trains. My dad is actually a marketing manager at our local elevators, so I kind of hear the insight of it all the time. I actually went hunting with him this morning, him and my son Kyler and me. We went out hunting. I have a buck tag and Kyler was out hunting birds. He did get a grouse this morning, so he was happy and excited. So yeah, that is what we are up to. I am just waiting on Bentley to get a full load and then I will take off. More than likely meet Cole along the way. We swap trucks, he takes it back, dumps it in the bins and I bring the empty truck back. See you guys later.
top of the bin. We are just finishing off that one. And then we'll be moving the auger to this one. Down there, my son, Kyler, is in the tractor. And Cole is up in the truck right now. It is so nice out for November in North Dakota. Hi, guys. It's Carly Newmiller and Kyler Newmiller, the newest cart driver out here. <laughs> and also my nephew Bentley is in a cart over there and that one is Kimberly in a cart. Uh, we are on Rogers Field right now and Cole and Roger are in the combines. Uh, Kyler had a dentist appointment this afternoon and then straight to the field we went to take over the cart. Kim has been in the field all day and Bentley showed up around 4.30. He jumped in with his dad, his sister Paisley, and Kaden, my daughter, in the semi and Fezzed in to get out here. That was their bus ride today. And yeah, we had Thanksgiving, so we were in the field up to Monday of Thanksgiving week. And then we shut down to clean up some stuff and get everything moved home from all the other jobs because we are down to only our own corn left. And so we took a few days off. We had Thanksgiving with a few of our hired hands we still had here. And then it was my birthday yesterday. I guess I'm 30 now. So we had my birthday off because it was Sunday so we took the day off and I spent some time with my family. My sister and her kids were home so we spent some time with them. On Saturday I wasn't in the field but my nephew came out to ride in the combine with Cole and he loved it. He found the horn on the combine and played with the horn pretty much the whole time he was in the combine. But yeah, that is what we are up to. We are down to four fields left, counting this field. You got a gap We're about half done with this field, so we got three and a half quarters left. So, oh fingers God. crossed, we'll, we'll get... I gotta go through that door too, I fix my trap. Whatever you wanna Sorry. do, I guess. Sorry about that. But yeah, so we should be finished up by the end of this week. And then it'll be clean up and finish putting everything away. We did get another camper wrapped up this last week and parked away. So we're down to only one crew camper left to clean up. And yeah, that's what we are up to. Kyler is going to go dump his grandpa and his daddy here soon. Yeah. See you guys later. Hi guys. There goes my husband. It is November 29th. And I am out here in the cart again, have been for the last few days. Um, we are on our second to last field. We'll be wrapping up here soon, but it is three in the afternoon, so we will more than likely not finish today. So tomorrow will be our last day of harvest. Hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing crazy happens. But while I sit here and wait, since one of our combines broke down, her headers broke down, so my father-in-law took off to go get one of the other corn heads quick. But while we're sitting here with some downtime, I decided to do Christmas shopping because where else would a harvest her do their Christmas shopping at other than sitting in a tractor in the field? And I was listening to Christmas music earlier just kind of ironic sitting in the field no snow really on the ground can't really get my mind wrapped around it but yes holidays are coming soon can't wait for harvest to end but the funny thing is is every year we sit here and we're so excited for the end and ready to get everything put away and I don't know if it's just me but within three weeks after that it's like okay I could go again Especially when the cold hits, it's like, yep, time to leave. Time to go to warm weather, time for harvest to come back around, and it's just part of us, I guess. But that is what we are up to right now. We're still on Roger's corn. We will wrap this one up here soon. 
one more field left and our harvest will be completely done then it will be time to clean up these two combines we have left uh we have a few carts to clean up semis all will have to go through and cleaned up um still one more camper so yeah it's not like we'll be done done and then we'll start actually hauling some of our equipment around the stuff that's been traded we'll have the last few employees are here haul some of that to the dealerships and then we also will completely rebuild our combines that we do keep we will bring in the shop and go through all them so harvest never ends there's always something to do so that is what we are up to see you guys later